Hey friends, I finally did it. I tried Heirloom Traditions paint. It's an all-in-one paint that some of you keep talking about, so I had to give it a try for myself. Here's what I tried it on. A cute little piano bench that was only $10 at the thrift store. And while piano benches aren't money makers if you're wanting to flip furniture for profit, it was the perfect little thing to test some paint out on. I don't know if you can tell, but it's mostly made of laminate and a little bit of real wood. And paint doesn't stick to laminate very well, so this should be pretty fun. So let's dive in. First, let's talk about what I did, and then we'll dive into my full review of it. Alright, so I cleaned the bench and filled in some damage and sanded that down. From what I've seen, Heirloom Traditions recommends to just use their deglosser to clean and scuff up the surface of the furniture. I didn't buy their deglosser, but I did wipe this liquid sander deglosser all over the bench. And they do recommend lightly scuff sanding slick surfaces, and this surface is definitely slick, so I rubbed my 220 grit sandpaper on only half the bench and I left the other half of the bench alone. You know, just because I want to see what this stuff is really able to do. I used this beigey neutral color called Oyster, and I stirred it for the two whole minutes like the back of the can says to do. And then I used the true applicator sponge to paint the paint on everywhere. I ended up kind of wiping it on and then I did like the stippling thing that they tell you to do so you don't get the brush marks. Here's what it looked like while the first coat was wet. It definitely needed another coat. So I let it dry for two hours and then painted another coat on. After the second coat was dry, I could still see plenty of spots that needed better coverage. And I could see the damage that I filled, so I sanded it out more and then I painted another coat of paint on. While the paint was still wet, I removed the tape from the inside. I didn't do a very good job of it, and the paint had seeped under it. So, I rubbed it off with a wet rag, and while I was at it, I distressed some of the edges of the bench with that same wet rag. It wasn't too hard to rub off, but it definitely didn't wipe right off either. And then I let it completely dry. And here's what it looks like all finished up. 
but we're here to talk about the paint, right? All right, let's get up close to the bench. It definitely is a brush-free finish because I didn't use a brush at all. <laughs> but man, it has some pretty heavy texture in there. From a few feet away, you don't really see any texture, but when you're right there, it's definitely there. It's personally not my preference, but I think that there are a lot of you out there that don't mind that at all. Just for kicks and giggles, I tested out how well it brushes on. I used their paintbrush and a well-known high-quality paintbrush, the Klingon brush. Two coats of paint later and this is what it looks like brushed on. I think there's less brush marks with the Klingon, but either way, there are still a lot of brush marks left behind. I was so tempted to thin this out a little bit, but on the back they do say to not thin it, so I didn't try this time around. My guess is that you would lose some of the durability, but you would also have less brush strokes in it. So maybe I'll test that out in the future and update you in the comments. Speaking of durability though, I am blown away. Almost three days after I painted it, I scratched at it. The scuff sanded side barely scratched at all, and the side that only had the deglosser scratched off only a little tiny bit more. And honestly, that's really pretty impressive for painting laminate furniture without a primer. To be honest, I actually even did a sample on this bench before I did the deglosser and the scuff sanding, and yeah, it scratched off more than these did, but after a week, I couldn't get it to scratch at all. If you saw my video a couple of weeks ago, I had a scuff sand and prime before some of my favorite paint would stick to the laminate. And even last week's video with the chalk paint and the wax that I didn't scuff sand or prime before, that stuff is still scratching a tiny bit and it's had a month to cure. If you can't tell, I'm really impressed with how well this Heirloom Traditions paint sticks. Overall, this paint was really easy to work with. I mean, if you can skip prep and you don't need to top coat, I'd say that's pretty darn easy. Speaking of top coat, I really love that it's not a matte sheen. So many all-in-one paints have a matte sheen, and even though it's pretty, it gets scuffed up really easily. So I love this satin sheen. I'm not going to lie, I did not want to like this paint. I thought it was just another paint company that was selling pie-in-the-sky dreams again, but holy moly, I love how well it adheres. It really is an all-in-one paint. If I can figure out a way to get a true brush-free and texture-free finish with it, without sacrificing durability, I'm all in. And I'm honestly wondering if I can spray it now. That's it for today. If this video was helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and leave us a comment. Have you ever tried this paint? And if so, what did you think?